Babies. Apart from when they're crying in the movie theater, they can be pretty cute. And as it turns out, a lot of people want their own. But about 27 million couples in India suffer from infertility. For them, other options are found in assisted reproductive technologies, or ARTs. So what are these options, and what challenges do they come with? Let's get into the baby-making science of it and find out. Before we begin, a quick disclaimer. Understanding ARTs is as complex as figuring out the plot of Interstellar. So consult a doctor to know what works best for you. Now, let's dive in. Ovulation Induction One of the simplest fertility treatments available, this involves taking hormone medication, which increases the production of follicle-stimulating hormones. This helps with natural conception, artificial insemination, or IVF. OI does come with risks, like preterm delivery, spontaneous abortion, and a possible increase in ovarian cancer. But when carefully monitored, these can be minimized. Artificial insemination. A less invasive treatment, AI involves inserting prepared semen into the uterus close to the time of ovulation. It increases the chances of having a baby by almost 50%. The challenge, though, is that in India, only a maximum of six attempts are allowed. In vitro fertilization. Here, the ovaries are first medicated to produce eggs, which are then extracted and fertilized with sperm in a lab. The fertilized egg is then transferred back into the womb, and then hopefully, badaiho! The success rate of IVF treatment in India is around 40%, and depends on factors such as the method used, technology available, and the male donor's reproductive health. Egg freezing. This technique is for women who may want kids, but not just yet. It involves removing the unfertilized egg from the ovaries and freezing it for fertilization at a later date. Surrogacy. Up until 2016, India was a hub for commercial surrogacy, where a woman carries and gives birth to a child for someone else. But with no regulations in place, there were instances of exploitation of mothers and abandonment of children born out of surrogacy. So, with the Surrogacy Regulation Bill of 2019 came a whole new bunch of rules. Only heteronormative couples who are Indian citizens who've been married for a minimum of five years are eligible at a registered clinic only. In addition, surrogates must be family members and receive no money for this. While this law aims to avoid exploitation, it completely excludes single parents, unmarried or queer couples. Issues While people with fertility issues and unmarried heteronormative couples can choose ARTs, Queer couples can't, since gay marriage isn't legal. So, though ART has grown by leaps and bounds in the last few years, a lot needs to be done socially and legally for it to be a truly viable option. Tell us what you think about these procedures in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Vitamins 3.